I'll reflect with you a mistake I made today. I burned the chicken in the oven. It looks terrible and it smells worse and it'll have to go into the bin. I'll tell you the sequence of events and then let's see what lessons I can learn from it. It started this afternoon when I put this chicken in the oven for uh, dinner tonight. So when I took the chicken out to turn it over, I received a call to attend an appointment that I missed by mistake this morning. So I told them I'll come straight away. And in the rush, I put the chicken back in the oven. I turned off the oven. I thought I turned off the oven. And then I rushed out. So obviously the oven was still on. And this is what I found when I got home an hour later. So besides the interesting visuals of the burnt chicken, which some of you may get a kick out of, the interesting thing about this incident that is worth reviewing with you is what options I had when I realized while I was out that I may not have turned off the oven. What it occurred to me, the first thing that occurred to me was that I can call one of my neighbors to come and check the oven because I have a key safe into the house and uh, my neighbors knows me and they know my home. Anyway, I turned on my home camera and checked the oven. I could see that it was fine and so I didn't end up calling my neighbors after all. The main reason I thought this is worth sharing with you is in this case I had options. It is a small example of how community and neighbors around me make a big difference to seemingly uh, trivial situations. In the next few months, I am going to move house. And when I move, the, this essential option disappears. So this incident reminds me that while I can set up the obvious thing in my new home, like making my house pretty and comfortable and suitable for my lifestyle and my family's lifestyle, I need to pay attention to the essential part of life, and that is building relationship with neighbors who are part of my daily life. I am sure all of you online will see parts of my house as I share it with you. The more important thing to me though, no disrespect to you, is that my neighbors should know me just as well, if not better. Sometimes these days it seems that we are pushed to let our online communities know more than our physical community do, which is a bit perverse. Part of a meaningful life is knowing our neighbors. So when we decide to move house, how much time do we spend assessing what our neighbors are like? When we spend the immense amount of time and effort to move house and doing the logistics of the moving, how much do we invest in commute in connecting to our new community. So that's my two cents worth from my burnt chicken incident. I'll show that to you again. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you know your neighbors? How much do they feature in your lives? How do you work at making them a part of your life? Let me know.